Well, Saturday marks one year since a six year old shot his teacher in her classroom at Rich Neck Elementary School. The shooting intentional, according to police and court documents. When the news broke, reactions came flooding in from across the city and the entire country. Security and leadership changes quickly in the works within the Newport News School Division. Sarah Hammond joins us live to break it all down one year later. Well, when Abby Zwerner's first grade student shot her on January 6th of last year, it not only shocked the city of Newport News, but the entire country. Her subject was a gun at Richneck Elementary School. Newport News Mayor Philip Jones won't forget January 6th, 2023. I had 12 missed calls on both of my phones. I called back immediately and realized, you know, this is going to be um, a day for our city. The newly elected mayor at the time said he rushed to Richneck Elementary School after hearing a first grader shot his teacher. You yeah. at that point had not even been sworn in yet. I think an incident like Richneck makes everyone come together faster. U.S. Senator Tim Kaine recalls meeting with family members in the weeks following the shooting. Thank God the teacher was not killed, but it, the, the level of fear that people had about coming to school and dropping their kid off was was really palpable. Since that day, division leaders have made several changes. The school board voted to remove Superintendent Dr. George Parker and replace him with Dr. Michelle Mitchell. They also worked with city council members to buy 90 metal detectors to install in all of their schools. And I think that day shows just how resilient of a community that we are. Jones says he spoke with Abby Werner's family at the hospital that night, and he says he continues to wish her well in her recovery. He also has a message for the city as they continue to move forward. Something that was very traumatic happened, something that was all over national news, made international news. Uh, I'm proud of everyone in Newport News that was able to pull together. We look forward to moving into a strong new year. We reached out to administrators with the school division and all of the school board members to hear from them one year later. We did not hear back from the vast majority, but school board member Douglas Brown did say he declined to speak due to the ongoing litigation. Live in Newport News, Sarah Hammond for 13 News Now. All right, Sarah, thank you. And to recap, let's talk more about those major leadership sh shakeups over the last year. That started with the firing, of course, of former superintendent George Parker III. He was fired less than a month after Abby's Werner was shot. The school board voting to have Dr. Michelle Mitchell take over as interim superintendent. She signed on permanently for the role in July. And the assistant principal, Dr. Ebony Parker, she resigned not long after the shooting. Parker's accused of ignoring multiple reports that the six-year-old boy had a gun with him at school. And the school's principal, uh, Brianna Foster Newton, was not on school grounds that day. She took on a different role within the school division. Now, in response to the shooting, the school division also hiring extra hands, Mark Stewart, taking on a new role as executive director of crisis planning and prevention. Um, we also have got our policies that are going to be more proactive, much more proactive for the officers. They're not going to just sit back and wait for something to happen. They're going to be out there preventing things from happening. And you heard Sarah mention the school division implementing dozens of new security measures, including weapons detection systems in every school and requiring students to carry clear book bags. Stewart says the division added 45 new security officers and 10 substitute officers also. Mm. And throughout the Rich Neck ordeal, Abby Zwerner, the now former teacher who was shot, says she trusts the justice system. Mentally and physically, she says it's been a tough road and she is still working on her recovery. Legally, there have been a lot of ups and downs. And although she won't speak about the boy and his family, she says this. Unfortunate, terrible, traumatic things can happen. But that's why we have the court system to hold those responsible accountable.